What's up everyone? It's Leanne V and my sister Melissa. What up? So if it's your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So what are we doing today? You're gonna help me do my makeup. Yes. So that you don't have to keep doing it for me. <laughs> for real. Like you guys, I've been doing her makeup, which is fine, but I want her to <laughs> learn. Basically, I want to teach my sister how to do her makeup so that I don't have to always do it. Not only that, yeah. I don't mind doing it, but if I'm not here, like if then I'm I have like my friend do it, busy, but we're on quarantine. No, you should learn how to do it so you can do it yourself. Because I had to learn how to do it myself because my makeup artist moved to Miami and it sucks because I really was spoiled with her doing my makeup all the time. And shout out to Nina's makeup. I love Aww. you. I miss you. But yes, I had to learn how to do my makeup and time to time when she's here and we do shoots, she'll do my makeup, which is amazing. But today we are going to be teaching her how to do makeup. Well, I'm going to be teaching mm -hmm. her how to do makeup. Mm -hmm. And we are going to do a very simple glam. Just what I do on an everyday simple glam look. To you guys out there, this may be a little bit more extra and not simple. A lot extra, not a little, but a lot extra. I just like doing glam. It's my thing. It's my favorite. So if you guys want to take some notes and, you know, hopefully these um, tips and tricks that I'm doing will help you guys at home and are you are you ready yeah Ooh, can i show them so we got yeah go ahead so leanne gave me this set mm -hmm. and because all of this basically looks like just the same thing to me i labeled them she labeled each and every one so i just it's put so it on a post-it and i taped it blending for the eye well this i already know liquid foundation mm -hmm. all these are labeled so that i know what each brush is supposed to do and the cool thing about brushes oh don't break it now the cool thing about brushes is that you don't have to use a brush for a specific reason like for instance they say yeah. this is a blending brush but if you want to use it for highlight or whatever you can do whatever you want there's no rules i just think that um it's good to know what is used for what but yeah so we washed our face put some moisturizer and now we are going to prep our skin with primer so I'm going to be using Smashbox Photo Finish Oil and Shine Control because I am greasy. What is this? That's Master Prime. It's uh, It does the same thing, but it hydrates and smooth. So Do I want hydration? Do you want your skin to be a little more hydrated? Do you feel dry or do you want to like... Yeah, I'll use this one. Okay, cool. So first... I like the moisture. We are using this. Little dab like that. Oh, just like that. I usually use more. No, this is not... You don't so need like to use this? the whole thing. Yeah. And so you are only going to put it in some areas. Oh, not all over the whole face? No, I put it in the T-zone. Oh, right as I put it on my whole face. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> not for your body. No, <laughs> it's for your face. I have combination skin. What kind of skin do you have? Combination, it's oily, like, well, in the T-zone, and then, mm -hmm. like, it's drier here. Mm -hmm. But then my facialist says that I'm a little dry, kind of, everywhere. Okay. Good. Good to know. After that, we are going to be putting foundation and we are going to use El Maquillage Foundation. Woke up like this. It has really good coverage. And we're the same color, right? So we both yeah, use... Yeah, I was... And I'm going to use my liquid foundation brush. There you go. I'm going <clears> to <throat> put it on my hand and warm it up on my hand. Why like on the this? back of your hand? Because why would you want to put it on your hand right here? It's just... Like, you're holding it so it doesn't no. smell. No! No, because if you touch things, you're going to get everything dirty. Ah, so a good okay. tip, I mean, people use trays, people do whatever, or they apply it directly on their face. I like to warm it up on my hand like this. I usually would just, just like just dab and then dab, dab. Oh, this feels so and good. And then I'll just um, like blend it. Circular motion. And do you wash this brush every time? I don't wash it every time. I wash my brushes at least probably every week. Every week, every other week, depending. Depending what I use, but I do wash them pretty well. Do you, and you don't put it on your up here, right? Nothing on the eye. I don't. No, I don't. Okay. I don't. You can if you want to. Cause I know with um, see, she's really big on makeup. I'm more into skincare. I know that uh, so around your skincare. eye, the skin right here is very delicate. So you yeah. only put eye moisturizer. You don't put regular moisturizer on your face. It has mm -hmm. to be for the eyes only. Yes. Very true. And sometimes if you have blemishes, you can mm -hmm. go back in and do a second coat on your face, but 
I don't think I, um, you know, just quickly, my skin has been pretty good lately. I've been drinking lots of water. So next, what I do after I apply my foundation, I take a beauty blender and make sure your beauty blender that you're going to use to apply your foundation or blend your foundation is moist. You never want to use a dry beauty blender because it just absorbs the makeup on your face. So you're going to lightly tap everywhere, make sure there's no brush strokes. Nice. Like so. Yeah, just dab everywhere. Kind of get the areas that you think you have brush strokes, like in the creases of your nose or under your eyes. So a little bit about me and my sister. I know some of you are telling me, oh my god, Leanna, I had no idea you had a sister. I actually have two sisters. I was hiding. <laughs> <laughs> and she came out. She finally came to hang out for, for social media. But yeah, you know, I've known my sister since I was born. <laughs> And, you know, we've been best friends ever since. <laughs> but no, seriously, my sister was not into social media like that when it first came out. And she's a dental hygienist, so she works at an office in Burbank and Glendale. She's an amazing dental hygienist, by the way. If you're in the LA area, make sure you I hit do. her up because she's like the best dental hygienist. Mm -hmm. I trust her with my teeth. She's cleaned my teeth my entire life. And I'm just grateful Whoa. for that. No. <laughs> Well, I mean, <laughs> not my entire life. I mean, like the Since years I that started you are, working. Yeah, there you go. That, that. But yeah, she's here. So if you need a dental hygienist, she is the one to go to. But yeah, like now she's opened up and got into social media, and especially through this quarantine, she's, you know, definitely came out her shell. And because she's not really a front of the camera person, so you guys out there that are camera shy. It's not too late to start oh, trying yeah. out social media, especially because my sister has different passions. She loves fitness, she loves skincare, mm -hmm. and now she's able to do that on social media. And she's so educated in that, so she could definitely talk about it and help others that want to, you know, know more about their skin. But a little bit about her. Okay, next we are going to go in with Tarte Concealer. This is Shape Tape, one of my favorite concealers just because I like the consistency. So you, you put it under your eye, or you could do lines like this. Yeah, I always see you doing that. Yeah, I do lines like this. It looks very tribal. So do you I know, like it. <laughs> it looks very tribal. <laughs> do you know why you wear concealer? What is the purpose? For dark circles, right? So you yes. don't look like you have bags. Yes. So if you had a long night or if you have dark circles, this just saves your entire life. Well, first of all, you should get your sleep so that you, you don't get- For sure. So use the same one? Yeah. Okay. And then you just blend, dab, dab, dab. So the one thing you should not do is rub. You never want to rub your beauty blender because Wipe. you are wiping your makeup off. Um, and I've seen okay. people do it. They're like, and you might as well not even Maybe wear I should it. stop doing that then. Don't do that. Are you doing that? I think maybe I do. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. So you want to lightly dab, honestly, however pressure you want, because some people really be beating their face like. Yeah. It's just whatever you want, but I, I lightly dab under my eye, gently, because like my sister said, it's a very sensitive spot yeah. under your eyes. You want to make sure you take care of that. Oh, and yeah, if you have blemishes, you can lightly put that over certain areas and blend. And then I honestly go back with foundation lightly over it just because it's a different color. You can get a concealer that's your skin tone because this is a little bit lighter, so it can lighten up your under eyes, but... If I put this all over my face, it would not match my face. You have to... I hate that blemishes take so long to go away. I know. Do you have any tips on how to make You know what? Go I away? really like products with CBD, especially for breakouts. It helps to calm the skin. Rose is really good too, but some people can be allergic because you're allergic to yeah, rose, right? Yeah, I break out when I wear, use uh, rose products. I don't know why. I really it's like it. It smells so CBD good. I really wish good. I wasn't like... Allergic oh, because you love to roses. it. Yes, I guess I just can't put it on my face. Okay, so once you do that, you are going to grab another beauty blender. And this beauty blender that you're going to set your makeup or concealer with does not have to be wet because it's just powder that we're going to put on the beauty blender. So okay. here you go. So we are going to be using Laura Mercier setting powder. This is my favorite setting powder. <clears throat> and Ben I. So you're going to dab, dab, dab. And you're going to go right underneath the eye. Only under the eye? Yeah, only under the eye. So you are focusing on specific areas. So the bag areas. Yes. So you want to dab gently under the eye. So this is a smaller blender. Yeah. I mean, no, it's actually the same one. It's just not oh, okay. uh, moist. I put it on the top of my nose, under my eyes. On top of your nose? Yeah, and then I put it here because I tend to get a little bit oily in this area, so I like shiny. to set my forehead a little bit more than anywhere else. 
Oh, one thing when people tend to be dry because I used to do this, they'll t they'll usually use products with alcohol in it to dry their skin. Oh. You don't want to do that. No. Because um, That's like you want to you want to keep your moisture preserve that because. Over time, as you get older, your skin tends to dry out more, and then that's when you get more wrinkles, is when your skin is dry. Oh, so you no. want to preserve the moisture. Preserve the moisture. Don't use alcohol. So you did that. I went here, and I went here. Okay, and you can be generous with the product. Like yeah, you can I see, see how. why so yeah. much. It's okay. More? Put more? No, you don't have to. I mean, you already said it. If you want to. Okay. Sometimes people move on and do their eyeshadow and let it bake, but I honestly like brushing it off. So get your blending brush. You're going to oh lightly dab a little bit in... La Mercier and gently with circular motions blend everything else. Everything? So everywhere. Mm -hmm. I just go everywhere. Oh yeah. Blend, blend, blend. And light, right? Light pressure or else, or else I'm wiping it off. So what I've noticed when Melissa does her makeup, she has such a heavy hand and she like You know why? It's because I'm scraping tartar off of people's Ew. All day. <laughs> so I had I put a lot of oomph when I do things with my hands. No, that's good. Do that then. But don't do it in makeup. I know. I have to be gentle. Oh, I miss it. I miss scraping teeth. Can you scrape my teeth? I need to. Oh, yeah. Oh, we should do a video about that. Yeah. At home okay. cleaning. Um, no, I was going to say, come to my office. Oh, One of my office? offices is still open. Okay, cool. Oh, as I was saying, you don't want to apply so much pressure because the purpose of blending makeup is blending, not rubbing it off. Just like the beauty blender, you don't want to rub the product off. You want to just lightly blend and just like this. Imagine if I was like really stabbing my face with it and scraping it. I'm like, why? It's not going to look good. So you oh, just want to lightly blend. Like when I tell people not to scrub hard when they brush their teeth. There you go. Tell them They're why. just like, eh. Tell but them you why. just like... If you tend to have a heavy hand when you're brushing your teeth, you want to use a fingertip grip and just kind of like brush in soft circular motions. I've learned that because your gums start to wear down and you don't want to wear your gums down. Moving on, after we set the face, do you want to continue with contour or do you want to go with the eyes first? You tell me. Let's go ahead and do the contour and the okay, cheek so stuff before we do So eyes. we are going to do the powder, <clears throat> Laura Mercier Bronzo 4 Baked Powder. So How do you pronounce it? Uh, Laura Mercier. Mm. Very fancy. Good to know. I always She's like, Laura Mer Mercer. Mercier. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be contouring with powders just because it's a bit easier for beginners. I still struggle with blending with cream, so I, that's something I'm still working so on. What brush but, do I use? So we can share this one in case you don't have it. I like using this kind of brush. Is that this like is yours? a blush brush, but I actually use it for contour. Well, so, this has blush or contour. Okay, you can use well, this what one. is this? No, you can use this one. Gently, and you want to dab a little bit if there's extra powder. Okay. So when you're going to contour, how I contour, <clears throat> what I've learned. You see, I do this with a brush. So this is the area that you're going to contour from the top of your ear, and you work your way down. So you're going to do Light circle motions. Circular motions are like all oh, this scares cake. me. I don't know why. Yeah, you can do it. And then, the whole if you contours. want certain areas to be a bit darker, you do this little stipple movement. But I'm going to just lightly Ooh, do circular word. motions. Stipple. Stipple. Like this? Like yes. dots? Yeah, if you want it to be in certain areas, but it's nice to do circular motions and sometimes I just do brush strokes, but not too hard. I'm always scared of going really heavy and then I'll do my and makeup and it's difference. like... Yeah. So what you want it to do is enhance your cheekbone. So what makeup does to your face, it just enhances your structure of your face and you know, it's fun. Oh, I see the difference. See? Oh wait, did I do it right? <laughs> Can you even see anything? <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll help you out. If you don't blend your makeup, you just look crazy on through those You've days. You've looked crazy? That I've looked crazy. When I look back at old pictures, I'm like, ooh, no one told me. No one wanted to correct me. So now you can do the same thing, but now you're going to put it a little bit on your forehead, on this area. With contour? Yeah. It warms up the face. Because so you want your forehead. So here. Only in like in this area. And it warms up the face a bit more, if you can see. The forehead. Now we're going to contour the nose. I'm going to dab some product on the brush. And what you're going to do is you want to make your nose appear pointier or skinnier, whatever your goal is. And it just makes your nose look more dimensional. So I'm going to start in the inner. This makes me nervous. No, you're just going to do contouring great. in general. So you're going to just follow the line <clears throat> to the tip of your nose. So you see what I'm doing? It's like from the inner part of my brow, 
and then I'm going to just lightly blend to the tip of my nose. You don't want to go too far out because it's just going to make your nose appear wider and that's not what we want. So you see how I start from the inner part and I just make my way to my nose. Gently blend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Instant it's so job. slight, but it makes a big difference once everything's all done, once the, right. all the makeup is done. I like to make sure I blend it right because you don't want to walk around with two lines on your nose. It is not cute. People will look at you crazy and then you're just going to be like, what? My face is beat. <laughs> Babe, yeah, who beat you? <laughs> who beat your nose? Okay, so you're doing this kind of movement. Look. Okay. Push small brush strokes down. Blend from here down. Okay, so follow that line. Yeah, but you can go on the inner of your... Oh, the inner part? Yeah, just a little bit. So it has like a little shaded area, just looks dimensional. Yeah, I would never do this by myself. It's funny, people think I got a nose job, and no, I did not get a nose job. I just know how to contour my nose, so it looks like I got a nose job. I still got my Filipino nose, guys. So while you are doing that, I'm gonna demonstrate the next step that I like to do that I've learned is using a brush like this. So I'm gonna create this line and make my nose look like a button nose a little bit more. So I like do a button it, nose? What'd you like say? Like a booty nose? <laughs> a button nose. A booty nose. So look at the before and then I'm going to oh, do geez. it right here. An instant like button nose. You just it just kind of lifts your nose up a little bit. That it just gives it that illusion. Makeup is crazy. You can do so much with your face. You I wanna, for Halloween, person. I want to look um, like dead. <laughs> what? Or like a zombie or something. Oh, something I can make like you like crazy. a super like fly zombie. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays because I love doing different Halloween looks. Like I have like four or five looks all the time. It's just fun to dress up. Am I done? Up. Are you? Let me look, look at me. I don't know if I did it. Right. That's great. You're good. Okay. Yeah, right there. It's like, I. it's hard to explain the placement, but it's literally like... But I don't want a line. I have a line. Yeah, you want a line. Okay, hold on. I'm getting way too excited over there. <laughs> Putting too much. Okay, that's good. Take the blending brush. My blending brush. And you're going to just blend up and down strokes so the lines get blend it away you don't want to have strong lines so we are going to be using my friend mac daddy he has a new palette by artist couture so i'm wiping down this palette because i kind of got it dirty but the supreme nudes artist couture palette is beautiful they have the most amazing colors Pretty. and tones can see so we're going to do a very natural eyeshadow look so you want to get a blending brush grab your blending brush I like to get the base color, which is this nice cream color right here. So apply this on your entire eyelid. Nice, okay. soft movements, left and right. Oh, I totally forgot. So, sorry guys. I normally use eye primer, and I totally did it this time, oh. it's fine. Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer, I use this one. But I guess today we're not going to. Sometimes I don't always use primer. After you do that layer, you're going to go back in with another brush. And we're gonna go in with a little bit darker shade. It's a warm brown. This is called Nudist. So we're going to lightly dab in this color tone. So dab like that? Mm -hmm. You're gonna start on the outer crease. You're gonna do circu small circular motions and work your way in to the middle of your eye. To the crease, all along the crease? Melissa, do not press hard. Okay. Lightly pressure your brush onto your eye. I like to focus on just the crease right here, and then I slowly make my circles a little bit bigger from small to big, and then I start making left and right strokes to create that nice blend look, and you don't want to press hard. I'm watching you. She's over here digging in her eye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Oh, I already started. Oh, okay. That you means I You're Speedy Gonzalez over there. That means I need to do this a little bit more. No, you're okay. You're doing great. You're doing great. Funny story about me and my sister. So I used to always like scare her when she works oh and studies. Oh my gosh. Still it's so fun day. seeing her freak out because her like well I get scared <laughs> over everything. Yes, 
She gets scared of everything. She can't even watch scary movies. She freaks out no, over everything. But, but your reaction too. is what makes me so <laughs> happy <laughs> because <laughs> it's like, yes, I got her. And it's it works every time. But I, like, I could just be sitting here and if you're like, ah! Oh my God. Did you get scared? It's just I would have got scared. <laughs> She's like, oh my God. She would be studying downstairs. Oh my god! And she'll be falling asleep reading books. Yes. And I'll just like up. slowly crawl down the stairs and I go under the that. table and just grab her feet. Or you would be like, ah, and I'm like, ah Leanne! I actually oh, pranked her so recently with oh, a fake cockroach. Oh, stupid roach! Here it is. Watch this video. So yeah, I like pranking my sister sometimes, it's just fun. So you're going to be dabbing a little bit in the same color and blend underneath your eye. Same color? Yeah. Close to your under eyelash line and just go left and right strokes. All along, all Yes, like. don't poke your eye out. Now we're going to go in with this nice gold shimmer and this is called Lavish. So you want to just dab just like that. On your eyelid. Mm -hmm. Okay, so lower. And we're just dab. dabbing, not rubbing, right? Not rubbing. I mean, you can, but you don't want this shimmer to go everywhere. So it helps you focus on areas like your eyelid. You don't want to rub it everywhere. I like shimmer. Me too. I like glitter and shimmer. So the last thing that we're going to do for our eyes, we are going to go in with this dark brown color. It's called Mink. And I'm going to take a flat brush like this. It's really pointy at the tip because we're going to go on the top of my lash line. Dab it like that and I'm going to blend it along the lash line really close to the lashes. And what this is doing is it's making your eyelashes appear more fuller because if you don't want to wear eyeliner you can actually just do this and you can see the difference. My mm -hmm. eyelashes mm -hmm. look a bit darker mm -hmm. and just full. I love eyeliner but I love doing this method if I don't feel like you know, making it look so dramatic. Wait, Wait. where am I going to get scared? So right, right along the right. eyelash. You can start from the outside and go in. So just above where the lashes are. Yeah, but you don't want it on your eyelid, so make sure you stay right along the lash line. There you go. Okay, so halfway on the lashes. Yeah, and you want to dab. You want to dab it. Oh, it just makes me want to blink. Okay. You can blink. Don't start working your way up the eyes. Stay on the lash line. Oh, okay, shoot. She'll end up like <laughs> going up on her eyelid. Nice. Okay, did I go too far? A little bit, but you're fine. It okay. still looks really nice. And now do it on the other eye. Be very careful on not putting it on your eyelid. Again, if that's the kind of look you want, I think that it's, it's fine. But I like this method when you just want your lashes to appear a little bit fuller without having to put liner. So you know what you do? When, if it looks blotchy, you come back with a blending brush that has no product on it, and you just lightly brush back and forth. So you could just blend whatever is blotchy. That's what I've learned. Very nice, okay. Melissa. Here, you can use this brush. Okay, we finished the eyes. Now we're moving on to the brows. So for the brows, we are going to use my absolute favorite, Anastasia Dip Brow. So I use this to trace my outer brows, and then I fill it. I fill it in with a brow powder. And this is the Brow Powder Duo. This is the pomade. So let's get started. This is from Sephora Pro Cream Brow. Put a little bit on the brush. You don't need too much because this is really thick. And again, I like warming it up on my hands. Okay. And then you're going to trace your outer brow. So I brush through my brows real quick. With the brush? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So you brush your hairs. Right. So you start from the front. Yep. And oh, you go underneath. Mm-hmm. Boom. I always start on the top. Well, you can Lizzie? start whatever you feel comfortable with. Oh, so that's a nice, um, it's like a nice, like, starting point. So make sure you go a little under more. More? Yeah. You do the top, and you start, and you just lightly. Trust me, it takes time. I sucked at my brows in the beginning, and I've done my brows so much, I've learn to do my brows a lot faster now. I've done microblading before, but my brows have definitely faded. But I like that my brows are a bit lighter now than before because I can add my I can add product and like do different shaping if I want it to be thinner or thicker. It's, just too, it's always too thin when I do it, let me see. That looks, wow, good job. Yeah. Let me just tell you, my sister did it the first time. <laughs> 
It was just not it. But you're doing better. <laughs> it's not it. It was just not it, sis. You can clean up your brow by concealer and a flat brush if you feel that you've messed up. Okay, after that, I like to brush through my brows lightly so the lines don't look too harsh. Blend it in lightly. You don't want to brush it off, Melissa, so please, again, don't apply Line too much pressure. Brush smear marks. <laughs> now we're going to go back in with a dark brown brow powder duo. So there are two colors here. There's a darker color and a lighter color. And so I use the lighter color in the front of my brows and then a, the darker color at the end of my brows to give that ombre kind of thing. Okay. That ombre effect. Brush strokes in the front. Fill it in softly and it also sets the pomade. It's not sticky. Crazy, everybody has different ways of doing their brows and not everyone likes this way. So do you do light, light, light dark, dark, or do you go, do you do one whole brow, light and dark, and then light No, and dark? I do the light first. Light, so light, you okay. get the light out of the way, so you don't have to go back and forth. Then you do dark. Makeup to me is art. I feel like, you know, your face is the blank canvas and you can just have fun and play with colors. Looking good, looking good. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so we finished the face, the eyes, the brows. Now to my favorite part is the lashes. Oh, I, hate doing I lashes. love, love, love lashes. Okay, first we're going to curl our lashes. She got lucky with the longer lashes. Oh, I'm jealous. My lashes are shorter. Is it because mom trimmed her lashes? I think so. I'm think scared. So. Now we are going to be putting on our lashes. Both of our lashes are from Dollar Lash and I already applied glue to them. So one thing that's super important about applying glue to your lash, you have to make sure it dries a little and it becomes tacky because if you put it on, it's just watery if you just apply it right away. So you wanna let it dry a little bit till it's tacky and it helps the lash stay longer and it's just better. You know, it stays longer on your lashes when, it, when you stick it on tacky. I use tweezers because it helps me grip the lash better than my fingers because I have nails and I just think it's a lot easier to apply lashes with tweezers. Accurate. Closer to the tip so you have control. Oh, okay. Really close. Another trick too, you can bend your lashes even before you put the glue because sometimes the lash is so straight it starts oh. lifting at the tips. And I do trim my lashes front and back because sometimes they're too long and if it pokes you, it's just very uncomfortable. You're going to place it on the lash line as close as you can. Okay. So see how much easier when you use tweezers? You literally just place it where it needs to go. Oh, I'm nervous. No, you're good. You can do it. Okay. There you go. Ah. No, you're good. And I always do the middle part first. So once the middle is secure, you slowly grab the ends. So I'll grab the front press it in, grab the end, press it in. So now my lashes are pretty dry. I'm just pressing them in to get them even more secure. Okay, so now the lashes are complete and one last touch I like to add. So I'm gonna grab my eyeliner. This is Tartier, Tartiste, Tartier, Tartiste by Tarte. And I'm going to add a little bit of liner underneath my eye. So it just gives it that finished look and it just looks clean. So I go underneath my eyelash it's scary for people that don't like touching their eyes, but it just fills in the lash a little bit more and the root, and then I go inside the inner corner. Wait, what? Let me see. see? Oh. You can see the difference. Like, Let me see. Look up. Oh yeah, it just looks cleaner. Yeah. Oh my gosh, can I do this? Can she do you it? You can do it. So what I do, I look up and I look down at the same time. That makes any sense. Okay, if you can that. see, this one doesn't have it. This one. Oh, I just see the difference. It fills it in. Okay, so how does this look? Oh, see, big difference. Yeah, it looks great on the inside compared mm -hmm. to this one. Because we don't put our lashes in the inner corner, like it, it's irritating to our eyes. How are you doing over there? Um, you're doing it. Because when you place the eyelash on your eye, you're not putting it in the corner of your eye. So the black strip on the lash just fills in the lash line and then you have this empty bald spot in the front. So that's what I'm filling is this bald spot with this liner and it just makes the lash look complete. So for the last thing for our eyes is mascara. This is Too Faced Better Than Sucks. So I'm gonna apply mascara on the upper lash and the lower lash on the root. Not really on the lash, just a little bit on the bottom in case it's just light. Uh, it also helps your lash blend with the fake lashes. I see. So. Another tip is if you accidentally yeah. get mascara on the yeah, bottom part. Which I just did. Okay, so you grab a brush like this. Okay. 
and you just blend it lightly. Oh, I need the little brush thing. And it goes away. Now moving on to highlight and blush, we are going to be using Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette for our highlights. So we have these four Great. colors. Which one do you want to use for highlight? Um, I'm going to go with this color right here. I like this with this brush. Golden color. You don't want it to be everywhere. Literally just lightly brush. Above the contour? Color. Yes, above the contour. Oh, just right here on top of your uh, collarbone. <laughs> on top of your cheekbone. Mm -hmm. Along down your nose. So in between the, the contour. Yeah. Now we are going to use the Stalazi Bahamas blush palette. It has beautiful colors. Look at these crazy tones. And I'm going to go with the rum rum punch. Ooh, Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. Rum punch. And tropic. I like this. Are you mixing? I'm gonna mix it because this has a little shimmer. This doesn't. I like the colors. And you're gonna go right here, lightly. It does. It's not supposed to go everywhere. It's just supposed to be in, right here in this area. Okay. You could smile and see. So let me see. Give For me, rosy cheeks. I like. What would mix good with this shell color right here? Yeah, do shell on my time. Okay, because I like this pink. Mm -hmm. I like this. And it gives you that nice warm rosy look on your face, so it's not just completely dull. Okay. What is it? <laughs> you funny. just look like you look like a rag doll. You literally just did this in just circle. That's what you said. No, only do this way. No. Oh my god. So, so like you're gonna thing. lightly do circular motions or stipple around okay. in a circular motion. You don't want it to be just right there. You kind of want it to blend. You said to stay in one spot, so I, I stayed mean, right yeah, here. Because like, with the highlight, I went I mean, all the way, and you said god. to stay. And you were going right this close. So you should be. <laughs> oh shoot. It's okay. <laughs> She's learning. <laughs> and then I'm going to seal everything with the setting spray. All Nighter by Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray Long Lasting. So shake it up. Ooh. Oh, it's cold. Okay, the makeup is complete. Last, we are going to be doing lips, and we're just going to wear lip gloss today. So we are going to use Fenty Beauty. I love their glosses. And this is mm. called Sweet Mouth. Did you want to use this one or do you want to use another lip gloss? Not this one. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is Revlon Super Lustrous The Gloss. This is nice too. I like sheer colors that have a little bit of a shimmer. Mm-hmm. So. Is it even possible to blend? I like blending colors. Mm-hmm. I blend like five lipsticks sometimes okay. to get the lip oh, color. Oh, I like that one. Hmm? Okay. I can use this one. So I can put... Whatever one you want. So this completes our final look. Let us know what you think. I think you did an amazing job. Thank you. For it to be you your first time, well. she killed it. Thank you. I mean, she knows how to do her makeup, but I i mean, you literally had to do the step-by-step -step well, process all the that I do. Techniques, so, I don't it know. Help? Yes, because I don't know how to do contouring, highlight. My makeup is just basic. <laughs> but it looks really good. You killed it. <laughs> Subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah. Peace. Are you ready? Mom. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe so I should drink some of this so I can get yeah, drink some it. coffee because I don't want sugar. I'm on my third cup. Mm -hmm. No, second. I'm just kidding. <laughs> second cup of coffee. I was so tired this morning and I needed it. Now I'm like, dang, you drank all of it. Because I tried to wake like, you up. <laughs> she woke me up just to ask me to walk the dogs. <laughs> And you want to wake me up <laughs> at 7 a.m. to walk the dogs? It wasn't 7. I was done with my class. Whatever. Can you? I can't. Why can you not laugh? Okay. Do you have the giggles? Yeah. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> Come on. She's Ooh. delirious. All right. All right. Ready? Three, two, and. <laughs> you know what? Get out. Think of something sad. No. <laughs> I don't want to cry. <laughs> just think of something, just chill. Okay, now I'm annoyed. Let's think about dinner. About Let's think about what we're going to eat for mm -hmm. dinner right now. <coughs> <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> Not Corona, don't worry. I've been quarantined.